Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for another journaling on a budget. So today we're going to do a couple pages in our book, or at least parts of them. And um, so I've decided to get this page in here because we've got this done and it's going to tuck into this flip up that we did a while back. And that's going to go in over here. So I thought, I was watching somebody make, they call it bunting I think and um, to hang on the wall and it's triangles like what we call banners um, and I don't know I just I never have really cared for the triangles but I got to thinking and I thought well it would really be cute across the top of a page but I still didn't want the triangles so I decided to make it however I wanted to so I'm gonna do like little hearts or circles or you can make any shape you want it doesn't have to be a triangle so I just have a little piece of paper here that was a part of an uh, envelope that I got and then a piece of the dyed paper and so what I'm gonna do is just cut two pieces I want you know two pieces of paper front and back of the bunting and then I'm just going to, like for this one, I'm gonna make it a little smaller because I think I'll just cut like a circle to go on each side of the heart. So I'm just gonna hold the two together, making sure that my outsides, I think I like the lighter side, um, that my outsides are on the outside because you can't flip them around unless they're perfectly cut. So um, I'm going to just cut a circle as best as I can. Like that. And that's a pretty good circle. So there's one and I want to do one on each side. So just get a couple more little little pieces. I just want a small square this time like there we go. Now when I cut a circle what I do is I start with a square and then you start in the middle of one of the sides and then you look towards the middle of the next one as you cut and try and start back as far as you can on your scissors so that you don't have to like lift and start to recut very often and then you just start here and you look towards the center there just kind of look where you're going when you get about to that center start looking towards the other center and then just do that all the way around look towards the center of the next side and then look towards where you started and there we go so now we have a circle and we're gonna it sticks out a little bit right here so I'm just gonna trim that back a little bit like that and so we're gonna get ready to put those on there I'll be back in just one second okay I am back and so what we're gonna do now is we're just going to glue these together Just put some glue on one and put it underneath your string. I'm going to kind of hold this here and kind of point that up towards the top corner and then hopefully be able to figure out where it matches up. I should have paid more attention when I took them apart. That looks pretty good. So there we go. And I did both sides colored, but you don't have to do the back side colored if you don't have a lot of colored paper. You can do the back side with just plain paper if you want to. And so now I'm going to do this one. And kind of put this up here. Move that out of my way a little bit. And put my string on there. That looks pretty good. 
Maybe move it down just a little bit. And put that one on there. That looks pretty good. So I can press that together. Like that. And then do we have room for maybe something else? Maybe just a little tiny square and maybe I'll use this yellowish part because I think I'm going to put this down here and so that will bring the yellow from here up into our little bunting need this to be kind of small because we don't have a whole lot of room up there so that looks pretty good to me uh oh let's see if how bad they are oh that's not too bad line that up I have a little bit sticking over right here like I said remember to get your outsides on the outside And then we'll just put a little glue on this one. And I just thought that that would be a cute topper for a page. Just something different. And kind of fun and whimsical. Just put that on there and give it a press like that and then one more for the other side and we will be done I'll just fold this over so that I know I have color on both sides Not quite the same size as the other one, but that's all right. That's what makes homemade homemade, is everything is not exact. Now, if you have a paper punch, you could do punches, like punch hearts or squares or circles. But if you don't have them, you don't need them. And it's kind of fun to have everything be your own work. Not that punches are bad. I have punches and I use punches sometimes, but you don't have to have them. And the one thing about doing your own is nobody else is going to have exactly like yours. And so there we go. That's really quite cute. I like that. And then what I'm going to do is I have to figure out how to anchor those down. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut just a little triangle. Just cut a square. I'm going to cut it in half so that I have two little triangles. And that's what I'm going to use to anchor down that corner. I'm going to put a little glue on the corner too to grab the grab the thread. Put that one up there. I guess I didn't need to make it so tiny. I can't hardly find it. Whoops, pulled the thread through. There we go. And you kind of want to make sure that your thread's got its angle on it. You, you know, you don't want it going straight down or straight across when it comes out from under this anchor because you want it to hang nicely that way. And where's the other? There it is. There's the other one. And I've got a little sticking up there. I can either leave that there or I can cut it off. I will probably cut it off, but you never know. You might want to just have it there for looks. Put a little bit on the corner right up here. I'm a 
little awkward today. That looks pretty good. And that's where the corner folds, so you want to make sure you don't get it on the fold. And there we go. Got a little glue on there, so I'm just going to kind of wipe it a little bit. And there, now we've got our little bunting on there. And I think that that looks really quite cute. And then we had, this one was a sample one. And so I was thinking maybe using it as a tuck spot. But I don't like this white down here. And it's a little too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it down. Like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to just kind of round this off here. Kind of following the contours of the stencil. Just so that I can get rid of that white corner over there. Now, do I want to keep going? I put that on there do I want to come all the way down around to here or leave it like that I think I'm gonna leave it like that I think that makes it a better tuck if this is more solid than coming all the way over here yeah I like that so I'm just gonna glue that down now if I decide I might want to do a little stenciling behind here or stamping um, behind the bunting but I can do that later because the bunting moves very easily and so we can decide that at a later date. Just line this up with our page nicely. Like that. There we go. We got our curtain behind there, or our window. So that looks good. Maybe we'll make a little book or something to stick inside there, a little writing tablet and I could have edged it but I didn't think about it so it's too late now okay so that's that page and then we just want to put this over here now this one I'm definitely going to want to do some stenciling or something behind but I'm going to go ahead and put it in right now anyways and um, I will just stencil around the pocket so let's see this one's already ready to go all we need to do is glue this corner down And because it's a pocket, we want to make sure that we just glue the two sides. And then line it up on the bottom. I'm going to line it up just a little bit inside. Because our outside edges are a little bit longer because of the way I, when I ripped them, they just wound up being a little bit longer. So there we go. Now they're still inside our page. Adjust it up here just a little bit. And I did not like the way that looks, so I'm going to try it again. good that looks good so now I'm going to open this up and press the underside down okay so that's that and our tag will fit in here and we won't keep our tag in there till after we know that this is dry so that we don't glue our tag into that pocket and this is really plain and what I used to make this string because I didn't have any just plain string um, I used the the fibers that I got and then I just trimmed off all the little hairs so that it was more like a string 
but I think that this would look cute if we just put that right across there like that I wonder if it would stay well enough if we just put a little glue here and a little glue here and maybe just a little bit of glue in the middle and I'm and I don't want to put it right up to the very edge of the pocket um, because I want the hairs to be able to kind of flare out but not interfere with the tucking of our tag so I'll just take this they kind of do go one way so I'm going to make them come down on the pocket just push it down there and there and there and that should be enough glue to grab some of these hairs and grab the string oops and once it is dry it should stay there just fine and those ones are going that way but I can tuck them back under there once the glue dries also which I probably will do just put that there and that there press that down there and cut it off and put it back down where it belongs because I moved it when I cut it. And I like the way this kind of curls up here. Just has a little tiny bit of a curl on it. So I'm just gonna leave that curl there because I think it's cute. Okay, so there we go, I'm gonna leave that. I will let it dry. Once it is dry, then I'll test it to make sure that it's sturdy. Um, or do I need to put a little bit more glue on it? But I'm pretty sure that this is going to be enough glue to hold it there. And so that's cute. And then our tag will go there. And we'll put something else over here. But it'll be something more like a little booklet that kind of tucks in a little better because we want to see our bunting up there. So that is our pages for today. I hope you like the bunting and that's just something and you know you don't have to use it just for a journal you can use it for anything that you want to use it for um, I'm going to cut off a little bit of this thread here but leave a little bit stick up like over there because I think I might want to leave that there so I'd want one on both sides but that was too long so there we go there is another section almost done in our book. I never get anything done at one time. I always seem to do like my stenciling kind of separate or my stamping kind of separate. I just kind of go through the book and do it instead of doing it individually on each page. I don't know why I do that. I just tend to do that. So, but thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope that you like this page in the book because I'm very happy with it. I just love the old this so much reminds me of when I was a when I was a child and I used to do this all the time. Used a few more colors, but um yeah, I just think that it's fun. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye. <laughs>